Hello, and welcome back to Species Spotlight. This week, we are going to learn about a very intelligent bird, the American crow. American crows are found all over the United States, and they inhabit a variety of environments such as open woodlands, river shorelines, beaches, city parks, athletic fields, and landfills. They are one of two crow species found in the United States, with the other being the fish crow. When looking at the two, it is quite hard to tell them apart, but the American crow is slightly larger and has a very distinct nasal call. Crows are easy to identify by their size and color. Their feathers are all black, along with their bill, legs, and even eyes. American crows are a stockier bird that can stand at 20 inches tall with a 40-inch wingspan. On average, a crow's lifespan in the wild is 8 years, but they have been known to live up to 30 years in captivity. When it comes to food, American crows are resourceful and will eat just about anything available. Some food sources include insects, earthworms, berries, seeds, crayfish, carrion, and garbage. Crows are also known to steal eggs and nestlings from other birds such as robins, jays, and loons. While you will occasionally see a single crow flying above, it is more common to see them in groups due to their highly social and family-oriented nature. These groups have an off-putting name called a murder. Crows will stay together in a year-round family groups that consist of the breeding pair and the offspring from the past two years. The whole family will help to raise the hatchlings during nesting season. In the winter, families of crows will roost and search for food in large groups, sometimes reaching numbers of hundreds to thousands of crows flocking together. The most amazing thing about crows is their intelligence. It is said that crows are some of the smartest animals in the world, having the ability to work together in groups, recognize faces, hold grudges, and even use tools to find food. When there is a predator in the area, crows work together to harass and drive off the predator by dive bombing them, also known as mobbing. They showed this behavior along with their ability to recognize faces and hold grudges in a study performed at the University of Washington. The study had a researcher wear a caveman mask and capture seven crows in a net, but release them after the crows were tagged. When the researchers later walked across campus wearing the same mask, the crows scolded and dive bombed them. As 10 years passed after capturing the initial crows, the crows around campus still raised the alarm at the sight of a caveman mask. The next time you are walking by a murder of crows perched in trees, maybe give them a little smile so you don't have any problems walking along the same spot in the future. (laughs) Thanks for tuning in to this week's Species Spotlight.